In 2005, you and I football played in the FCS National Championship game. That year's team didn't dominate everyone they faced, but they simply refused to give up on themselves. With a 4 and 3 record, the UNI Panthers then rolled off seven straight victories with contributions from offense, defense, and special teams. We were excited. We had good quarterback coming back. We had, I think that's when David Horn transferred in from Nebraska. So we had a big name with him, already having Freeney. Um, we had three starting linebackers returning with Kipke and Heidemann. Not only that, but then the high expectations of the top 12, I think we were at the time. So we were excited. Um, we worked hard all off season, obviously. And then coming into the year, I mean, we started out pretty well with a big win and played Iowa pretty competitive in game two. There was NFL caliber guys, in it, but really what I remember from the team, you gotta remember that team was four and three. We were four and three coming off a 38 to three loss at Illinois State. We were finding our way as much as anybody was. But we wanted something to stick and we knew that it was win every week. It was, you know, it was playoff football mid middle of the season because if we lost another game, we were gonna be on the outside looking in. It kind of relaxed our team a little bit, I felt like. It was um, kind of had a we had nothing left to lose, so like let's just go out and play, and and we got hot. I mean, we got hot, and uh, just kept going into the playoffs. And honestly, we did not. I felt we didn't. And maybe it's just because I was too young to even realize what we were doing. I didn't think our team felt a lot of pressure at all from after the bad loss in Illinois State. I think we played extremely relaxed, loose, and had a lot of fun and. We just kept winning games and winning games and winning games. You know, when, when people are sore and tired and feeling like it's mid-season, everybody's hurt, whether it's a big injury or a small injury, you get a little bit of life and you see some energy. And, and uh, just remember, Coach Solomon really put that in us to, to keep having fun because, you know, whether, whatever season it is, you only get one of them. So make the most of it. I, I think when you have, and like you said, seven in a row, you start getting a run and you beat some teams that you know, it was a coin flip on whether you were going to beat him or not. Uh, that just snowballs your confidence. And, and I think by the end of that playoff run, we were easily the most confident team in America. We had to beat Western Kentucky on the road in overtime. We had to beat Texas State on the road in overtime. We had to go to New Hampshire, the number one team in the country, when they were coached by Chip Kelly as the offensive coordinator, as the number one offense in the country. And we ended up going out and beating them uh, 24 to 21. But again, that team had to go on the road to win. It wasn't just winning in the dome. We had to go beat some great teams on the road. It all came together and, and nobody cared how we won. Um, what the score was, who got the credit, nobody cared. We didn't care if we won 50 to 49 or six to three. Um, nobody cared. Everybody supported each other and was one common goal and that was just a flat out win. We'd come down the tunnel and you see the big wall with the with the years on the on the bricks of championships and playoff appearances. And we wanted to to be that team to just put something up there that, that hadn't been you know, placed up there before. So there's a lot of motivation in the Dome already, and we really wanted to provide something for the future teams to, to see like we do every day at practice that we saw ahead of us. The 2005 UNI football team had multiple guys go on to professional football careers, including Justin Cerency and Chad Reinhardt in the NFL. That entire roster was simply filled with winners. Still to come, game-winning kicks and game-winning picks, and we look at the battle against number one. Golly, that's a lot of weapons. Man. Goodwin, Hunter, Breland, Silky, Bradley, Lingren, Cutright, Horn, Freeney, Stephen, Christmas. 